Okay, first I want to apologize for the shaky video. I tried using my tripod and it was just insanely difficult to get this to follow around on both of my screens. So I'm going to have to hold this uh, Galaxy Note 2. Okay, and film this. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link below to the XD developer site and it'll give you uh, the links to download um, the LG Flash tool and it says version 1.5 but I believe if you go to the link it's going to let you download version 1.6.0.1 is what I'm using here. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is but uh, it works. <clears throat> download the drivers if you don't already have them. If you've ever plugged your phone into your computer and uh, it downloaded the drivers for you, the LG drivers for you, then you already have them. You should already have them anyways. Um, but if you don't, follow the link, follow the instructions, install them. When I went to do it, it said that they were outdated. I already had newer ones, so didn't have to do that again. You're going to download both the stock image file and the DLL. Now, uh, real quick, when we get into this, if you get an error that says that you have the wrong model number because the ROM you flashed changed your model number, then search through the forms, or if I could find them real quick again, or I'll just go ahead and upload the one I have, I have a DLL that bypasses that check. That's not the same one listed here. So I'll go ahead and see if I can't uh, upload that to my Dropbox and provide that link for you. And uh, you can use uh, the one in uh, the guide here, or you can use the one that I have. Um, I would try using the one they have first. If it doesn't work, then use the one I have. Okay. Yeah. I haven't had any problems since. All right. Once you've installed the drivers, you've installed the LG Flash tools. You'll see down here there are some tricks to get it to work. Change the date, disconnect from the internet, find the serial number. All these things are very easy to do. I assure you, Google is your friend. I've already done all those things, and I've installed the file, uh, <clears throat> the program. Now, once you've downloaded your ROM, well, your backup. It's going to be about two, 2.1 gigs, you can see here, um, and the DLL. Copy them into the same folder as where you install the application. In my case, it's C Drive, LG, and then LG Flash Tool. Okay, so I've done all that. I've opened the program. Okay, I selected manual mode. I added the DLL. LG up 8974.dll and I've added the uh, backup okay those two files that I put in the folder okay both of those have been added already check down here in your settings upgrade DL and USB okay both of those are there again I'm so sorry for the shaky video this is not the easiest phone in the world to hold the videotape with okay I've done all this the phone is not plugged in okay um, but, uh, if again, if you go back through this guide here, it's going to tell you that you're going to have to change the COM port on the phone and the uh, device manager. You'll change the COM port on the phone to uh, COM port 41. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, Google it as well. It's a pretty easy affair. It's already done on my end. If you have questions, um, just comment below and uh, give me an email address or something that I can get back with you at, and I'll be more than glad to walk you through that process. I'm trying to keep this video short, okay? So here's my phone. It's already powered off, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to pause the video to do it, is I'm going to press the volume up button, and I'm going to plug in my USB cable while I'm pressing the power up button. This will put me into download mode, okay? So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, now when I did that, you're going to see I didn't, I wasn't quick enough here for you. Get that light out of there. It uh, showed a small screen, said download mode, and that popped up the screen here, and that's fine. As you can see, it's going to tell you that it's rooted. Okay, we'll take care of all that here in a moment. We'll go back over here to the computer. We're going to press OK. Now, once we press this arrow here, it's going to give us a little error, open, fail, hit OK. Just give it some time. Now, here's the ticket. You're going to wait about two minutes, depending on your computer. Sometimes mine can do it in a minute. It'll get this thing loaded up, and uh, it's just going to sit here and not do anything. What you'll do is you'll unplug your phone while it's still in the download mode, and then plug it right back in, and it will kickstart the process. 
So I'm gonna pause this while this finishes loading. All right, that actually didn't take very long. I see it says ready. We haven't, but it hasn't started yet. So I'm simply gonna come over here. Give me a second. And unplug it and plug it back in. All right. Now, waiting for connection. There we go. Well, let's not see the IMEI number on there. Let's see, I've got some text here initializing. We're going to wait, sitting at about 6%. There we go. And it's on its way. The percentage up here is not going to match the percentage here, but I assure you it's fine. So I'm going to pause this while it goes through. And real quick, it's going to take a couple minutes, so sit back, relax. I'm actually going to eat my breakfast. Yay, yogurt. So again, it says 80% here. It just said 100% here, and it's rebooting. And you'll see that. So it did a little Android guy thing, and uh, you're going to let it sit here and wait. It's got to build all of its cache and dial it and all the good stuff back up again. Oh, and there it goes. So... There you have it. We are back to stock. Yeah, I did take my SIM card out in case uh, I needed to get a phone call or a text message while this was happening. So it's nice to have a spare phone. There you have it.